I was gonna bring my tripod and everything, yeah. like the whole setup, but yeah. yeah, my bag of teas. But I was like kind of running late because the baby. Yeah. But what are we doing, bro? Just tell me what we're doing. I'll get my tiger hood on. You know what I'm saying? I'll hit some golf balls. Oh, okay. What do I do with this? Easy Pickers Golf right, right Product. Yeah, just put one token in because I don't know. All right. Well, I feel like this is like the Declaration National Treasure, bro. <laughs> <laughs> How much is that? Let's count them, bro. I look kind of short. Yeah, <laughs> that, that don't be looking like cool. Cool 30 rack. I'm sure it's 30. No. A wise man once told oh. me. Oh my god. A wise man once told me, you can't drink all day if you don't start first thing in the morning. Yeah. I think, uh, Gandhi or Drake? I think it was Drake. <laughs> Drake's wisdom outweighs Gandhi's, bro. Bro, was that the Hitler salute? What are you doing? It's not that kind of channel. I hit it so hard, bro. <laughs> it's not that kind of channel, bro. Yeah, clear over the mountain. <laughs> Alright, so pack up. Yeah, we gotta wear a mask everywhere. But listen, this is my last time hanging out with Mr. Max. Mo Smax. Last time, so we had to come back throwing. Do something fun, but he says he says he's pretty good, so I wanna see you. Yeah, I think it's that axe. Let me try this one. Let me try this one. Alright. Watch out, man. Oh, RSL. Oh. Damn, the first one to land a shot. Go ahead. I that's a. Zen, that's yeah. a kill. Yeah. That's a You gotta be good to do that right there. <laughs> that's a kill shot. So we're here at O Side, that's our town. Axe Ventures, right here on the Coast Highway, right? It's like it's like the downtown. It's a pretty happening area. So we're throwing axes and the game we're gonna play is called Countdown. And so the way you play, it's Mo, Melissa, Milio, that's me. We each start with 60 points. The, the rules is we gotta get down to zero. Whoever gets to zero first wins. So these are the um, the points. So clutch, which means, so the green is seven points. So if you hit these two circles, subtract seven points. If you're in, if you're in here, subtract one point. If you're in here, Subtract three, and if bullseye, subtract five. All right, so we're gonna be playing that. See how it goes? Hey, uh, toe behind that red line, buddy. This is a competition, all right? That, was, that one was better. Put your mask on, please. Those rules don't apply to someone like me. Could you build different or what? Everyone's going for the bullseye. Are you going for that clutch? Ah! Damn. 
Finisse. <laughs> I thought I was gonna be really good at this. Hey, I'm just built different, all right? Bro, watch. Mm. Oh, that's what I do. I use this on the aim. Yeah? Like, where I, wanna, where I wanted to hit, I use this arm. Get ready. Right there. 90 degrees. Yeah? And I, I hold it like down here, you know? Yeah. I don't want to throw it like that. You don't want to clutch it. Yeah, so I hold it up here. And where I wanted to land is my point was this foot, right here, my left. Yeah. Ready? Yeah, so that's three. Right here, homie. Yeah, he does it all the time. I don't do Wait. that. I stand right here. Yeah, you pass the red line every time. <laughs> yeah, so nothing you've got so far counts. Nothing. Who's turning? turn. Wait, did you uh, go? I am the only one to land. Yeah. <laughs> I am the only one to land though. Yeah, you're right. So far, wait till I figure it out. It worked, bro. Your lessons work. What is that? All right, Dr. Del Barber Chef. We're back in the kitchen. Most Max. This might be the last time with Most Max for for a while. For a while. We had a uh, we reached a a, a con yeah, conflict in our contract and his employment under my establishment, and it's just not gonna work out. But I'm off to bigger and better things. Yeah. Working for other people. Yeah. Part time manager at Home Depot. Full time homeless vet. <laughs> Full time homeless. Full time homeless vet. Alright, so last time you were here, we were cooking uh, and we made uh, the shrimp and grits. You actually had a bite of lasagna, right? Yes. And Best lasagna I've ever had. Best lasagna he's ever had. Because that's what we're making today. And it's super easy. And it's the best lasagna Mo's ever had. Shout out to Barilla for providing the pasta for us. It's actually pronounced Barilla. Barilla. Maybe. All right, bro. Well, so I'm gonna count out nine of these. One, mm -hmm. two, three, four, four. Let me get some of this. It's super easy. Here are the steps, right? Boil your pasta, brown your beef, add sauce, build it in the tray. And that's it, so it's gonna be a little bit of sauce at the bottom of the tray, pasta, beef, beef sauce, cheese, and then do that two more times. Mm. Super simple, super easy, super yummy. You got chop the simple one. Yeah, I'm gonna chop it over here, but um, because I don't like chopping onions on there. But what you can do is add that pasta to this water. Gordon Ramsay about to flame you up in the comments, bro. I genuinely believe that I could give Ramsey the smoke in the ring, not in the kitchen, but <laughs> for sure in the ring, bro. I'll probably do cool. Like He'll be like, come on, big boy. Bro, like an uppercut last night? Bro, yeah. yeah. He was like, boom! <clears throat> oh, this, this fight last night, that was a uh, Ronty Davis versus uh, Santa Cruz, Tank versus Santa Cruz. Well, in the sixth round, Santa Cruz was like tripping him up because uh, cause Tank is left footed. He's a southpaw. So they were tripping it up and Tank was getting mad, right? And he was like lighting him up, boom, boom. He had him in the corner. Like, and I was in a car when I watched this fight and it was lagging. So like the actual knockout, I didn't see because my, my phone lagged, my video lagged. And then like when it came to, the dude was like knocked out and I swore he was dead because he was like, he was unconscious for like a minute and a half. And I'm like, bro, I really, I really missed it. He died and I missed it. But yeah, but so he's like knocking him out. And like, 
he's backing him up. He's like moving towards the corner, and he got on like they're like close together, and Tank was like this. Bah! Uppercut him. Bro, you that dude? He went like that. And I uppercut him like that, and dropped him. And I, I swear he like he died for it. He met the Lord for a little while. He was up there in heaven, and me and greet. <laughs> Meet and greet with the Lord. Like. <laughs> he made the Lord. He made the Lord. Like. Mm-hmm. Got my onions cooking over here. I'm gonna add a little bit of beef. You don't ever want no beef with me, bro. My favorite thing is, is like. <laughs> You cooking bacon and you feel like Denzel Oh, you cooking bacon without your shirt on you feel like Denzel Washington and training day. <laughs> hey, so a lot of cooks they don't like because I used to work at a restaurant and a lot of the cooks, a lot of the chefs, they don't like to clean up at the end of the night, right? They don't wipe down. And um maybe it's because I came as a dishwasher. Bro, the beef and the onions are smelling good. Hey, it's what I do, baby. What I do, baby, alright? Mm, that is yeah. getting hungry. So yeah, maybe it's because I came as a dishwasher and then I worked my way up to be the top chef of my restaurant. Maybe that's why oh, I bothered hey, you. Hey, hey, some beef oh, oh sorry, sorry. Maybe it's bothered me when the chef just kinda like drops his shit off. Go smoke. Wow, but back in the day when I used to cook, I finished cleaning and I'd go in there and I tell the the, the dishwasher the hey. Cause it was like in the weeds, right? Super packed, super busy. I was like, hey man, go take a cigarette break. In the weeds. I'd, I'd hold down the dish station for a little while. <coughs> and we clean up the kitchen together. And it's just team building, you know what I mean? You gotta work as a team. Honestly, one of my life lessons, and thinking you're the most important part of the team is the fastest way to break the team apart. Let's take that with you. Mm. So right here, we got our beef browning. We're just cooking that up. We got our pasta going. And then this is just salt water. It had a little bit of olive oil so the pasta doesn't stick. And then the pasta water. So when we drain this, we're gonna keep like a cup of keep, pasta water. Keep the pasta water? We're gonna keep, yeah. We're gonna keep one cup of pasta water because all this pasta water has the flavor of the pasta. It has like the starchy, starchiness and the saltiness of it. So we're gonna keep one pot, one cup of it and we're gonna put it in there Ooh. while it's like, once we put that sauce in and it's reducing, it's getting all yummy and good. So until then, mm. and this is really, this is really the hardest, what's up boy? It's really the hardest step. Yeah, all right, tell them, tell them what you gotta say. All right. If you're over the age of 20, I'll give it to 20. And you don't, you still don't like onions? Grow up. Grow up. Grow up. It's an onion, man. It's an onion. Hey, I hope you guys are drinking the water, all right? Say hydrate. Put water. And when, I don't know if you guys listen to my podcast. I'm actually going to start doing the podcast on video, too. But, hydrate um, or die? Huh? Hydrate or die. But anyway, yeah. Um, one thing that I say in the podcast... Make sure you guys drink water. Really, the onions and shallots. Y'all yeah, sleep on onions. Onions and shallots, right? If you ever want to kick your meal up one level, add mm -hmm. some shallots to it. Say it. Just like, oh yeah, it has shallots and real butter or wine, wine and butter, and they're like, oh wow, oh my god. I just got transported to one of your five star resorts. Bro, you know what would be making me upset? I'm upset. What? Got my so my boots. So your boots are like new guys that come under you. And if you're in charge of a team or a squad, your boots are like the brand new guys. So you have to train and teach them. So um, teach them the job for you. Teach them the ways. Teach know. them everything you've learned. Everything you've learned in your life, you gotta teach them. These little they're like little babies when they come to you. So you gotta mature them. You know what I'm saying? So. Bro, but what's making me mad is, bro, so these guys like, 
But the guys who's on this, this year, mm -hmm. bro, this it's uncultured, bro. How about what? my last batch of boots before I got moved up to the office? Yeah. Bro, these boots were so fucking, they were um snakes, man. Like, they didn't know their job, and they would do anything to, like, skate or get out of something. Yeah. So, like, oh, you probably heard about it, but these guys, they got selected to go on the, on the deployment, right? The one Lenny just came from? Yeah. So they got selected, so that little crew, and they swore, they're like PFCs, Lance Corporals, but they were acting salty as fuck and shit like that. Yeah. And uh, they we swore they were about to smoke, but yeah, they, were, they were about to smoke, but on their first field off, they were, like, snapped off. It was three in the morning, they're like, oh, we're, we're tired. We're tired, Sergeant. Bro, so what? Cause like, never, yeah, they did. I mean, cause anytime, bro, anytime it was like three a.m., like two a.m. Yeah, I when was never, I was never feeling bad for myself because I was with the dogs, you know. So, yo, we was literally surviving on cigarettes and sarcasm. You just make the best of it, and like these guys be like, they're like, you know, like little babies, bro. Bro, they were literally little babies, and uh. It'd be like 3 a.m. I could be in the worst situation. I'd be cold or whatever, but yeah. as long as what, I was with my boy, I was having a good time. I was yeah, we, we was making make it. making jokes. Oh man, a good time, bro. But anyway, but these dudes, right? They got selected to go on the the SP Mag Tap. Yeah. And the week, the two days before, we we're gonna leave on Wednesday. We we're gonna be there all all week, going into the weekend, come back next week, and it was gonna be shitty. It was gonna be super bad, right? It was gonna be annoying. Like it was gonna be hard because it was. A, Pre, uh, pre workup to their deployment, right? So, me and Mo, we've been in our, our shitty situations already. It's not to us, right? It's just another thing you gotta do, and then at one point you'll be you'll be done with it. But these guys, it was right around the time COVID and Corona, the Corona stuff, and they saw that two guys went to medical and said, Yeah, I got symptoms, and they were like, All right, we're gonna give you three days of sick, right? So that means just stay in your room, don't do anything related to work. So that they saw. They saw that those guys got three days off. So pretty much if they got three days, they were gonna miss the field off and that's what they wanted. So they pretty much went to medical and they're like, yeah, we're sick, we got, we, we, I think we've got symptoms. And they were like, oh really? Well, y'all don't seem to have symptoms, so we just gave you one day. So with one day, that wouldn't be able, that wouldn't be enough to get them out of the deployment, out of the field off. So they whited it out. Bro, they whited out the medical paper and put 72 hours instead of 24 hours. And they were like, yeah, we got on three days, we're gonna be in our room. So they were trying to get out of the field op, and then they got caught. And they're like, why is this whited out? And they got caught, and so pretty much they got taken off the deployment. And they were swearing like, oh, medical messed up, and they, they, they did it, they did it. Then they got caught, and they, they were either gonna get NJP or off the deployment, and they picked to get them off the deployment. I would've, I would've burned them. And that's some snake shit. That's, yeah, that's uh, that's uh, a different breed, I guess, bro. I guess I'm just built different, you know what I'm saying? Bro, Your Honor. Your Honor, Mr. Most Max is just built you know, different. Yeah, when when I'm at the uh, battalion commander's office and she's about to read off my NJP, so I just do it and be like, built different. Your Honor? I know we got a little deep with our cooking episode today, but I hate people like that. Have you ever seen someone post some motivating ass stuff on their social media, acting like they hard? They probably not hard because, yeah. cause hard dudes, real, they, they don't, real dudes, they don't be posting. I don't be posting nothing. <laughs> real high speed hard dudes, we don't post anything like that. Yeah, and like all those guys, like those guys at high speed, right? They'll take a picture with their rifles on their chest. Honestly, that's probably the only time they hold their rifles all year. Yeah. Because those guys probably do taxes for the real Marines. Yeah, they probably won Ryan the paychecks for, you know, the... Yeah, those bitches are the ones writing combat engineer paychecks. That's us. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you going to do to me? <laughs> what are you going to do to me, huh? This is the best way to taste the... Uh... This is the best way to taste your, taste your sauce. Okay. And I just tasted it right now. It needs a little salt. It's gonna be alright. Oh, that's saucy. Oh, that whole pot of this. Ooh, this is hot, alright? A chef can eat anything cold. Hey, a real, a real chef could eat anything at any temperature, whether it's like 
Super cold? I'm just gonna take a bite. So you just, yeah, yeah. Alright. Alright, so now, now that everything's cooked, it's super easy. We just got the pasta cooked, the beef, and the sauce. This is now we're ready. So we're gonna take what's the first step? So first we're gonna add like a little layer of beef of sauce right here. Yeah. We could be we could be super extra with it today because we got we got a lot of extra. Right? You just want kind of just you just want that wet base. A little bit up. Yeah. Lube. And then grab, grab a pasta. Oh, and then we should, Yeah, that's alright. I threw in two extra ones. And then for this tray, it's it's different for everybody's so trays. Just, yeah, right like, in the middle. Kind of overlap it or what? Uh it doesn't have to be, because I don't have enough for it overlapping. I'll just do a little overlap instead of one. I'll just do it right next to it like that. And then we could just put this extra piece. Yeah. Right there. So that's the first layer. Sauce, pasta. And now we're gonna pasta it up. I'm getting excited, bro. I'll let you do some. Can you do this noodle? That's good, spread it out. And then you do the rest, same thing. Just like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, that thing kind of burned me. Well, yeah, you know what they say. If you can't stand the heat, go on for the smoke. Well, that's for the smoke. All right, we got the first layer, and now we got some cheese. You know, we're not gonna use all this. You're just gonna throw a little layer in there. <laughs> so I'm gonna do this cheese, and then you do the mozzarella. All right. And it's gonna be like the exact exact amount. It's like a Make sure handful. Just... Yeah, there's one handful. Get you your mozzi. Like that? No, that's good. No, bigger handful, bro. Ain't enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If not, you just come back. Yeah. Yeah. Hungry, bro. So be good. So <clears throat> back in the day, right? My old chef, she'd get mad because he was like clumped here. It's not even. So once you're done with one layer, so this is the last step to the first layer. So I just like grab it like that. Boom, boom, boom. Make sure it's like kind of level. And even like put my hands on it, right? And then sometimes maybe your table's not level, and like at the end of it, your lasagna will be slanted. So you just kind of like, kind of like press it down a little bit. Next level. So, yep. I'm gonna let you do this one. Right here, bro. They actually cook really good these pasta. Right there, look. Perfect. You wanna make noise? <laughs> mm -hmm. We're engineers. Healthy handful. Mm -hmm. And me, bro. Don't scam me on my cheeses. I know my cheese. Not everything's that exact, like they make it. Mm. Two bros that love each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was gonna wipe off. Yeah, we're gonna wipe it off, push the cheese in. And you don't. Melissa don't be cooking for you, be cooking for Melissa. <laughs> oh, this weighs like 35 pounds. <laughs> I can feel it. Ooh, Ooh. boy, dense. Bro. All right, I got the oven at 350. I'm gonna put it right there in the middle. And I say it go in there for like 10 minutes. It's really only going in there to yeah, melt all the cheese. cheese. Yeah, all the cheese. That's happening. I'm gonna get the Caesar salad ready. And I bought it already made. I should have just made it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Guys. <laughs> well, we said it's a, it's a real, it's a real show, and it's coming all out of my pocket. So really, I can do whatever I want. So literally, a Caesar salad is just chopped up romaine lettuce, Caesar dressing, Parmesan cheese, croutons. It's just salt. This is just pepper, ground pepper. You can throw it. Yeah, we'll do it in there. We'll do it how they want. <laughs> I was gonna use it. You weren't gonna use it? Nah, it looked kind of yellow. So I could open it. <laughs> Alright, so look, this is literally all the Caesar, Caesar salad is romaine lettuce, a layer of uh, Caesar dressing there, some parmy. Parmy slang for Parmesan cheese. 
Not bad. Pepper, you want it? We're running out of sunlight. Want black pepper? Yeah. Want to turn on the lights? Yeah, please. But no. All right, so this has been in the oven. It's been melting. Do the old. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh -wee. You see that? You see those layers? In three layers? I can't hold it up much longer. <laughs> mm. Look at this. It's beautiful. <laughs> this is my mom's recipe. Simple. And that's the best way to keep it, really. Because then when you got too much stuff trying to go on, you got basil in the freezer. Oh, there's a fly on the set. Shut it down. Real show, it's a real show. <laughs> we don't need flies, right? Like, if all the flies died, it wouldn't affect the I think, yeah, I think, I don't think they affect anything. <laughs> yeah, because like bees, they pollinate, right? Besides, like, food for, like, spiders when they kick them in their Don't they eat shit, though? Then the earth would be covered in shit because nobody's eating the shit. Okay, they're not eating all the shit. They just take it's, a... A little fly's not going to eat... <laughs> <laughs> my, they ain't going to eat my shit, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I can see why we need bees because yeah, bees pollinate even though they bees making me mad sometimes. Bees yeah, pollinate. Make, I know, I know. Yeah, they make you mad. They make you mad, but bees are just doing what they know. All right. Uh, yeah, bees. I mean, at least they're doing something productive. So yeah. what do they do? They eat pollen. And they don't eat pollen. They, they pick they the eat pollen. They nectar. Uh huh. And they make oh yeah they take pollen because the pollen tell them, tell them, bro. Okay, so, <laughs> so they go they get the nectar and then the pollen sticks to the body then they just as they're flying or whatever they spread it out oh and pollen is like a seed huh for more plants yeah okay. man we was, but we had a busy day today yeah, it was we started early in the morning we was out there right now? uh four, four. 1600 yeah. You get off at 1630, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we was out there this morning at the golf course on base. Ooh. And then right after that, we, we had an appointment. We booked to go do axe throwing. They didn't believe I had the smoke, but I brought the smoke. Oh, Mo, Mo was like, natural. Yeah, I'm really good. Um, Mo was like, I'm really good. It's in my blood, right? I'm Native American. I'm like, okay, man. Everyone just talks themselves up, whatever. And it's... Hey, this dude showed up to play today. He showed up. He was like, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> so, bro, Gonzo just like messaged me on Instagram the other day. He's like, dude, I meant like your twin. Like, he's taller and smarter and funnier than you. And like, he's like so funny, dude. I met him and he's like, just like you, bro, but like, taller yeah, and yeah, don't ever mess with me again. <laughs> I was like, whatever, bro. You just. That's uh, minor. So, Gonzo, because he went to the field. And, Recently? Uh, like this weekend. Uh, like this weekend. Oh, okay. And this fool was like, all week, like last week, he's like, yeah, like, for sure, we're gonna hang out and see you one more time. And like, <laughs> so it was like Thursday, and he we, he left on Friday, so like Thursday, he was like, um, he's like, yo, tonight, like, he's like, come to my room and have like a beer or two, and then that way I can say bye to you. Yeah. So like, I get off work, I go to the gym, and do what, like, go get some beer for us, and then, um, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, yo, Gums on back. Like, and he just never uh, replies. He left you on red? <laughs> and he, didn't even, he didn't open it. Uh, and then, like, the next morning, he's like, sorry, bro, I fell asleep after packing. Uh, uh, good luck to you, whatever you do. I was like, fucking Gums. No way, bro. Yeah, he's like, on, on Snapchat, bro, he's like, yo, uh, yeah, good luck to you with your, uh, whatever you do. Whatever you see, yeah. I'm like, I'm on here right now, Gonzo. I'm in your yard. I'm trying to record a video in. <laughs> hey, it's a. What did y'all say? It's a not a real set. <laughs> Bro, someone. It's a real set. It's a, it's a real show. It's a real show. That's what y'all saying. Man, who, who the hell are you more under your car right now? That fly just came. All right, so we got a little Cesar Saline. Wait, am I aiming at you or the plates? The plates. Oh. <laughs> or me doing the plates? I can't have both. You can't have both. Yeah. Ooh, usually you want it to cool off so it'll come off like a perfect little box. Hey, but this is a real show. It's a real show. It's a real Don't go that high. Real show, real food. There Look you go. Up. That's good right there. Look Wait, lower, layers. lower, man. Look at those layers. Remember making those layers? Mm -hmm. We got these cookies. Look. Them turtle pecans, whatever they were called. Turtle pecans. Some turtles. 
You think you can eat it even though it's hot? Only, I like taking my bite of lasagna. Only a real chef. With a little bit of salad. Ooh, nice and steamy, nice. <laughs> you all took the bite at the same time. <laughs> Not of approval. <laughs> <laughs> pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's, ooh. it's super runny right now and mushy because it's fresh. It's pretty good. Good, bro. Best lasagna you ever had? It's good. Best lasagna, bro. Say it to the, the microphone. Best lasagna I've ever had. Say it louder for the people in the back. Ooh. <laughs> 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 it's the outro. Alright, guys. Outro. We gotta do the outro, though. We can finish. Do it right now. No, it's just good, bro. <laughs> you don't want to stop eating? <laughs> I got it. Let me get mine. That parmesan on the top. That's what did it? I like it. It just gives it like a little saltiness. Mm. It's like... It's like the perfect amount of saltiness, too. It's not too salty. But just, just right. <sighs> All right, good. Yeah. Well, there you go. We did some golf. We did some axe throwing, and we did Mo's best favorite lasagna, the best lasagna he's ever had. Best lasagna ever had. Now you can make it. Super easy. Like, subscribe, share with your friends. Kids share with your parents. Parents share with your kids. Mm. Share with cousins, grandmas, grandpas, everybody, everybody. I mean, if you have a good time, if you enjoy it. Other than that, I hope you guys are happy. I hope you guys are drinking water. Check out the podcast. It's Doctor Devil Barber Chef. Just Google it; it'll pop up. Uh, this is our last time with Mo for a while. For a while, while he's getting out of the service. He's done his four years honorably. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Anything you want to say to them? To the viewers? To, yeah, to our friends. Are... I don't know, it's my last time, bro. I don't want to say much, but... <laughs> yeah, but we, we, don't have to, we don't have to say goodbye. Yeah. Just say see you later. Yeah, it's never bye. It's never goodbye, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see y'all when I see y'all. That's all I got to say. Whether I might have to make my own videos and send them back. And... Yeah, or just you do oh. YouTube and I do my YouTube. And, and collab. Then, and then... Good friends should. All right, guys. We love you guys. Water. We love Mo. Peace. Peace.